Welcome back to Louisiana Homestead. Today we're going to be making some plain Jane peanut butter cookies, just like we used to get at the schoolhouse. So, come on, let's make them. We're going to start with a stick of butter. You can use salted or unsalted. I like to use the salted one. We're going to use a third cup of creamy peanut butter. To that, we're going to add a half a cup of brown sugar and a half a cup of white sugar. We are going to cream these together. Right here, you'll want to add an egg and a teaspoon of vanilla. That takes care of our wet ingredient list. Now let's get on to our dry ingredient list. We have one and three quarter cups of all-purpose flour. To that, we're gonna add a half a teaspoon of pink Himalayan salt. You can use any kind of salt you have. I just prefer that one for my baking. And we're also gonna add a teaspoon of baking soda. We're going to mix these together. Make sure that salt gets down in that flour real good and the baking soda too. You want to have an even mixture here. Once this is all mixed together, we're going to add these dry ingredients to our wet ingredients. And I think that's actually mixed pretty good there. So let's bring our wet ingredients back over and we'll add about half of these dry ingredients to it. And by the way, I'm going to leave the ingredients in the description. So if y'all want to make them, y'all can just look on the description and get the ingredients there. But I've been making these for quite some time and they're delicious. We love them. Just a plain Jane peanut butter cookie to have a snack. We used to buy little Debbie's all the time. We would get boxes and boxes of them all the time. But with this economy that we have, we can't afford to do that anymore. So I'll make peanut butter cookies or zucchini bread or just whatever. Basically make our own snacks now. And we've been enjoying it. Okay, let's go on ahead and see if we can get the rest of this flour incorporated in here. We'll just continue to mix this in. It looks kind of dry right now, but you just keep mixing it and it's gonna get just right. You can't have them too wet, and of course you can't have them too dry because you want a good, soft, tender cookie. I like a uh, soft batch cookie, kind of. They These don't cook very long either. They only cook about 10 minutes, these cookies. Okay, we're starting to get it all mixed in. That's starting to look right now. It is cookie dough. It's going to be kind of a little stiff. Y'all hear that dog barking down there? He is so spoiled. Spoiled rotten dog there. Now that we have our cookie dough done, we're going to put it onto some cookie sheets. And I have some parchment paper on my cookie sheet so that they don't stick. And I absolutely love parchment paper now. Can you guess where I got my parchment paper? The Dollar Tree. Six yards, 12 inches. I'm gonna roll these into some tablespoon sized balls and put them right onto the parchment paper and then flatten them out and slide them into the oven. Thank you. 
Now we have our oven set to 350. We're gonna put them in. Let's go. We have a little tuna fish can in there with some water in it that's gonna keep these cookies nice and moist. One pan on that side. These two pans fit. And in five minutes, I'm going to switch them around. I'm going to switch this pan to that side and that pan to this side because of the heat coming up on the different sides. I don't want them to get burned on one side there. And you see, I have some foil in there too. It keeps them from getting too brown on the bottom. I do not like them. In my first five minutes of baking, I went on ahead and cleaned up my dishes. And in my second set of five minutes, I got some plates out, some platters ready to put my cookies on because I don't want to leave them in those pans any longer than I have to because I don't want them to brown anymore. So I just took them out. Let's look at them. Just looking at them, you would say, hey, they're not done yet. But let's look under them. I broke that one, but I wanted to show you what the bottom of it looks like. It is cooked at as brown as you want it. So many times we make the mistake and leave the cookies in too long because they still look raw and they're not. They're done. So. We tested those. Let's get this pan out too. Okay, I'm going to move them to my pan. You want to help me, Mr. Errol? I need to help. I need just a little help. Can you just hold the camera for me? Tell them how I move this, um, this whole batch of cookies right onto this platter with this parchment paper. See how easy that is? So here's our cookies. They're done. Let's see how many we made. Three. Made 24 cookies. We have 24 cookies. This will taste this broken one. Hmm. Oh my gosh, they're so good. Y'all have to make some. That's some easy, plain Jane peanut butter cookies. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I hope y'all try making them. They're really good. A lot cheaper than those little Debbie's. It's nice to be able to pronounce the ingredients that's in your food. So, and you can definitely do that with these cookies. Y'all enjoy. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, remember, you can't go wrong doing what's right. Hey, y'all ain't got some more of them peanut butter cookies?